Hello everyone and thank you for your time today. My name is Dennis Laffrey and this is my marketing presentation for the Central Florida Red Raiders Stay and Play program. Before I go into much detail about the program, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I was born in Flint, Michigan but raised a military brat. After various moves as a child, we finally settled in Orlando and I have been here ever since. I am a husband of 16 years and have two awesome kids, ages 15 and 13. In my spare time, I help coach as much as I can, but mostly I like to watch them play a sport they love. But enough about me. This is about the Stay and Play program being promoted by the Central Florida Red Raiders. I will be responsible for the duties that accompany a marketing manager for a youth sports organization that trains athletes, provides competitive travel teams, and host baseball and softball tournaments. Recently, the Central Florida Red Raiders was awarded a value and kind sponsorship with the Intercontinental Hotels Group and its Rewards Club. We were looking to help grow our business and lower travel costs for all facets of the organization and its products. The Stay and Play program will provide an opportunity on each side of our business. What I mean is, for each of these products, the program will operate differently, but will aim to produce the same results, meaning the nations of Greater Orlando will look to reach all the new consumers out of the Central Florida area, providing access to a low fixed nightly rate just for participating in our baseball and softball tournaments. Whereas the Central Florida Red Raiders baseball and softball travel teams will be required when traveling to use the Intercontinental Hotels Group brands. What you should take away from this is the sponsorship provided full access to the Intercontinental Hotels Group and its brands, but also an affordable fixed rate for anyone associated with the Central Florida Red Raiders. Here is a breakdown of all three of the products associated with the Central Florida Red Raiders. It is important to know nobody in the area is sustaining a marketing presence at this time, like the Central Florida Red Raiders brand. We are against no direct competitive tournament sanctioning bodies in the area. Proving based on internal research and observation, on average we are responsible for about 12,300 rooms a year. Now, with our program, you will see a fixed rate of $59 a night, compared to maybe the 79 plus other competitors would have had without the program participation. Also, with every qualifying stay, you build reward points with the Intercontinental Hotel Group Priority Club. Having already slightly summarized our market, we must target our old customers and new out-of-area teams and players interested in what we have to offer as a program. Even though we have access to an extensive database of email addresses from years of e events under our belts, the competitive advantage really shows in the area. A good example of this is the three photos here on this slide. They are representing our target market. Compared to other sports brands, they only represent one area of our business. For us, we strive in each and every branch of our products, showing relevance in future growth and or participation. Some of our direct competition comes from organized sports, recreational leagues like Babe Ruth, Little League, and the YMCA. These are all great places for the youth to start, after they do reach a certain level in their training, though, they branch out and start training more competitively, something those recreational leagues are not prepared to do. As I stated before, our target audience is any child age 7 to 18 willing to participate in training, travel ball, or tournaments. Understanding that the youth are not the rightful bank, hold, bank card holder broadens the ability for additional opportunities. Opening up a channel of communication suitable for parents, grandparents, coaches, and scouts, being that they are the real driving business. To make sure the target markets are addressed, I will use the forms of marketing vehicles to promote the program. The first is the facility signage. Installing a form of advertisement where we train or play 
like this, these, these examples here above. Brochure is the next vehicle being used to promote this new program, being digital and or in print. The last marketing vehicle on this page is the use of banners. With purchasing them to display, these tools will be located at every tournament location, training facility, and with every Central Florida Red Raiders traveling team. Another set of marketing tools are digital and social media. Facebook and Twitter will be used to maintain brand awareness while exposing information about new products, with the chance that, that possible new activations may come from this marketing vehicle. On the other hand, digitally, the website will provide useful information on the program and give a place of reference if anyone has access to the web. Email blasts have been the biggest asset to the business for this program. They are the preferred form of communication providing a stay and play program code to newly enrolled participants of any tournament. Also, it will be used in research ca capacities as well. Even though this is the last one for me, word of mouth is, is huge when it comes to advertising. It, does ha it doesn't have to be face to face anymore either. Haven't you ever learned something new or interesting via blogs, Pinterest, YouTube, or forums? It just shows how important it is to the marketing plan. Since the organization was founded back in 1994, we have been researching through many channels. We received some of our research from surveys and email blasts, but participation history identifies trends and other deficiencies about a product or service. This is why it is important to partner up with a lodging organization willing to provide exclusive rights to us. Our research showed we were not gaining repeat business due to overpriced hotels in the area. These consumers were willing to travel at least once a month, but not two times a month based on the high prices for lodging. Now for the marketing budget. I utilize a two-year window because the sponsorship tentatively has an expiration date at the end of 2015. So with that, we use banners, brochures, and the website being the materials needed to start promoting the Stay and Play program. Whereas networking and contests utilize man hours as, as the main expense. Proving the campaign needs minimal staff support to regularly stop, stay on top of it. And that's because an example like this, bonus contest, which again will build an additional interaction. With the help of the Inter Intercontinental Hotels Group, we were able to provide the winners of the same play program with the longest distance traveled giveaway which happens to be a free night voucher. This will be presented at every tournament hosted by the Central Florida Red Raiders brand. With access to team rosters, that player will be rewarded before the tournament concludes. Also, to further promote this activation, we will use digital and social media to inform our audience of any winner and or future promotions. The Central Florida Red Raiders is more than just a youth sports organization that specializes in training boys and girls the fundamentals of baseball and softball. It is an organizational commitment to provide value built on a strategic alliance between the training, travel team, and tournament products of the business. Like anything, success does not have to be a one-in-a-million opportunity. With years of hard work and special training, no dream is out of reach. That is why, at this time, it was important to partner with an organization that will provide additional value to our business products and programs, like the Stay and Play marketing campaign. Again, if it values our customers, it will value us. Now thank you panel for your time and I look forward to any questions you may have.